I'm Joey Sturgis and we're here at the Foundation Estate in Manchester, Michigan and this is where I record music. That's really how it all began and uh, I found myself at a show one night and uh, The Devil Wears Prada was playing and I was just really impressed with their set. I decided to talk to them and say, hey, I really like what you guys are doing. Um, I, I think it would be really cool if you could come record with me. And uh, they were totally against it. Uh, they were totally against the idea at first because they wanted to do everything themselves. So I kept talking to them for several months afterwards and I finally convinced them to come down and, and record some songs with me. And then um, that recording that we made is what got them signed. Joey Sturgis Tones just started out as almost like a dare. My friends were kind of telling me um, you should start making plugins and I thought, well, I probably never could. It started out as a bet. I bet you can't do this. <laughs> When I started out with Joey Sturgis Tones, I wrote the code, but I was only capable of writing code for Windows. But once I got my product far enough along, the first one, which, which is named Gain Reduction, as soon as that product was far enough along that it could, have, could be potentially a product for other platforms, that's when I involved another programmer to help me do that. Gain Reduction is my version of a vocal compressor, and it's a combination of lots of experimentation. So once I had emulated what I was using before and I got close enough to where it sounded pretty much the same, I was able to go in there and tweak things and, and make it actually more of what I wanted, um, something that I couldn't do with the plugins beforehand. So being able to uh, play around in that math space and that uh, with the algorithms and, and kind of tune those things um, was what really got it to where it is now. Uh, Toneforge is a product that I'm currently developing, which is um, sort of my answer to the amp simulator. Uh, the thing that makes Toneforge different than anything else out there is that we've structured it so that you get to buy a guitar rig, one that's complete from start to finish. Um, you know, typically with other uh, amp simulators, it's just the amp, or it's just the amp in the cab, or this and that. What we've done is we've gone from from A to Z. You get a pedal, you get an amp, you get different cabinet options, you get different mixing um, solutions, and you also get some of my magic sauce on there, which is kind of how I make guitars sound. And you can turn it on and off. So it's really a, a, a way to go from plugging your guitar into your computer to final mix guitar sound without any other plugins being necessary. One of the benefits that I have as being a producer and a plugin designer is that while I'm in the studio working on records, I can see these problems firsthand and try out solutions. And when they don't work, I know exactly how to kind of tweak it so that it will solve those problems. Um, I was playing around with gain reduction on albums, you know, a long time ago. And when I got to a point where I was like, hey, this is actually sounding really good, it's working, then I try it on the next album and then I find, you know, some gaps and some, some holes that I need to fill. And one of the greatest things about doing this is uh, I get to work with a lot of different people. So I do get to hear what it sounds like on a lot of different sources. I think the typical plugin designer probably has his, his set of audio that he gets to test stuff on and he never really has time to record new. So um, just constantly being you know, up to date and working with fresh material uh, kind of allows me to take advantage of that I'm unique in that I am a jack of all trades. I know how to program, I know how to do web development. I can do some graphics myself. In fact, the first version of Gain Reduction's user interface was made by me in Photoshop. So it's just really all of us kind of pitching in and doing different tasks, but I kind of do a little bit of everything. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. That's, that's the kind of guy I am. If you look at my discography, you know, almost every record I work on, I'm doing more than just one task. I'm mixing, producing, mastering, engineering, programming, writing, you know, all those. The plan for the future, um, all across the board, is going to be artist collaboration. We really want to make products with artists, specific artists in mind, um, to kind of fill those roles. Uh, I feel like there's kind of a, you know, you see guitar players coming out with their own custom guitars, you got drum, drummers who design their own drum sets. But what about designing their own software that you know, gets their sound? 
What about designing an amp simulator that um, provides the tone for the next uh, Asking Alexandria record? Those are the kind of things we're gonna explore. Drumforge in particular will be working with um, producers, uh, notable producers, notable artists, and just providing drum samples um, that you would not be able to get any other way. Uh, flexible drum samples as well. And then for Toneforge, you know, we want to get into making custom amps for uh, specific artists and sharing those with the world. I want to make it easier to make music. Um, I've been in that space where you, you've got that creative um, idea in your head and you, you're in the right moment and then something breaks uh, and, and just completely ruins it all. So the better we get at making the, the software more stable, making it sound better faster, providing more solutions to more problems, the better it, or the easier it's going to be to create better music.